From count punching to digital scanning, barcode reader. Hi, everybody. If you're looking to become a full-time data scientist and artificial intelligence, AI, expert from scratch, then you are at the right place. <laughs> In today's era, industries do not compromise in their business at all. Rather than keeping tracking all their stock with a traditional method of count punching, they keep everything from stock storing to product sale in a digital manner. For this purpose, they use barcode readers. Now you must be wondering what a barcode reader is? Let's enlighten ourselves with this information. So basically, a barcode reader is a handheld or stationary input device used to capture and read information contained in a barcode. Barcode readers are generally found in supermarkets and large departmental stores. It is a type of scanner which is used for reading printed barcodes. Now, let's acknowledge the history of barcode readers. To really get a feel for what the future holds for barcodes and barcode readers, you need to look at how far this technology has really come. This type of data collection technology actually dates back to the 19th century, when the concept of collecting information through a machine was first discussed. Other highlights in the brief history of barcodes and barcode scanners include, 1890, punch cards are used to help during that year's census. 1930-1940, the concept of a linear barcode is first discussed and developed. 1948, two college students, Bernard Silver and Joseph Woodland, overhear a request made to the head of their school while attending a food fair. 1949, Woodland and Silver file for a patent. 1952, both the barcode and the barcode scanner received patents, later purchased by Philco and sold to RCA, an American electronics company. 1962, Silver passes away at age 38, before the commercialization of the barcode and barcode scanner. 1966, the National Association of Food Chains becomes the first company to utilize barcodes, using them to decrease checkout times. 1967, just a year later, the Association of American Railroads adopts the barcode and barcode scanner and uses it on its whole fleet of equipment. 1969, Computer Identics Corporation becomes the first company whose entire line of products use barcode technology. 1973, a committee called the Uniform Grocery Product Code recommends barcode technology should be used on all products throughout the United States. 1974, Dr. David Alice creates Code 39, the first alphanumeric barcode. 1982, Norman at ScanTech in Dallas, Texas, introduces the first CCD scanner. 1988, Intermec Corporation creates the first 2D barcode. 1994, the first barcode software is invented for mobile computing. The QR code is also introduced by the Denso Wave Company to track the auto manufacturing process. 1999, Japanese Industrial Standards registers QR codes. 2005, airlines introduce barcodes on boarding passes and use various upgrades throughout the years. Let's take a look at different types of barcode readers. Barcode readers have so many types ranging from pen type readers to fixed barcode scanners. Let's take a look. Pen type or one type readers, this scanner has a LED light and a photodiode on its tip that is used to scan the barcodes on various items. You have to carefully pass the scanner over the barcode at a slow speed. These are the most inexpensive type of barcode scanners. Laser barcode scanners works just like the pen type reader, but is more convenient and gives more accurate results. It uses a laser beam that sweeps across the barcode and reads the information accurately. It can read a barcode from 15 centimeters to 60 centimeters away. Some long range laser scanners can read from half a meter to three meters away. This is the most popular type of barcode scanner and is widely used in retail. CCD, charge coupled device, barcode scanners these use hundreds of tiny LED lights that shoot directly at the barcode. These types of scanners are very popular in pose or point of sale applications. CCD scanners need to be 3 cm to 10 cm away from the barcode, otherwise, it will not work. It cannot read any barcode that is longer than the scanner monitor. SSC barcode scanners are very expensive, but give the most accurate results. Imager barcode scanners or camera-based scanners, this scanner has a video camera inside. It takes a picture of the barcode and uses a sophisticated digital decoding technique. This scanner can read a barcode, no matter how you position it against the scanner. It makes for much faster transactions. 2D scanners, these types of barcode scanners also have the capability to scan 2D barcodes, QR codes. Antimicrobial barcode scanners. 
These are high-performance barcode scanners that have built-in antimicrobial agents to minimize or stop the spread of viruses and infectious bacteria. Fixed barcode scanners. These scanners are permanently mounted on a piece of equipment or on a surface. The items with barcodes are scanned past a monitor. You must be wondering what impact it does have on society. Let's have a look at it. Barcode readers have made it easy to train employees. Operating a handheld barcode scanner takes only a few minutes now unlike earlier, where it took days and days. Barcode scanners are now wireless, so the trainees do not have to worry about short and tangled wires anymore. There is less chance of human error now since barcode readers eliminate incorrectly encoded data. Earlier traditional inventory used to consume a lot of time because of manpower and number crunching. With barcode readers, counting inventory has become much quicker. These changes have made human life easier by decreasing the chance of human errors. Barcode readers have proved to be very reliable in humans' life, where manual methods such as keeping a note of handwritten stock prices have been revolutionized to digital methods such as digitally scanning a product for its price. If you're interested in learning more about starting a machine learning and AI career, then be sure to check out our courses at the first link in the description. For further involvement, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos helping you to start your data science and AI career and more. Check out this playlist of our data science and machine learning lessons and see you in the next video. Take care.